beautiful, wonderful, powerful name of Yeshua. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, wonderful, powerful name. There it is, Lord. All three, one in the same. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful, powerful name, yeah. You were the Word at the beginning. One with God the Lord, most high. revealed in you our Lord Jesus Christ you were the word my God you were the word at the beginning one with God the Lord most El Elyon the most high God yeah your hidden glory it's right here in creation now revealed in you, Lord Yeshua, cry. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ our King. What a beautiful name it is. And nothing compares with it. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Beautiful name, the name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven. Your grace and your love so much greater what could separate us and now sing it again you didn't want heaven Lord and didn't want heaven without us so Jesus you brought thank God you brought heaven down sin was so very great but your love and your mercy was greater what could separate us now what a full of wonderful what a wonder your name what a wonderful name what a wonderful name the name i 
adore you Your kingdom come Your will be done You're my Christ and you're my Lord. 
what a powerful name it is and nothing can stand against what a powerful name it is and nothing can stand against what a powerful name it is the name Powerful name, yeah. Oh, I want to understand the ultimate power, the extreme power of your name. Yeah. The ultimate power, the extreme, the extraordinary, the extraordinary power of your name. In the name above every, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess, yeah. Every knee will bow before your throne, my God, my God, yeah. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you, you are Lord, yeah. You are Lord. me before men. I'll confess you before the Father. Amen, Lord. I'm confessing you before everybody on this stream, everybody that'll see it the next six months. Woo! Death cannot hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin in the grave, the grave, the grave, the grave, the grave. The heavens are roaring, yes. The praises of your glory. For you have been raised to life again. You have no rival. You have no equal. Sing it again. You have no rival. Have no equal now and forever our God reign. Yours is the kingdom and the glory. Yours is the kingdom and the glory. Open your Bibles to verses out of the five. We'll touch today. Oh, D minor. Unless the Lord builds the house, they that labor, labor in vain who build it. 
Woo! Thanks for the heads up, Lord. Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. There's only five verses in this psalm, but we'll just touch these two today. Bless the Lord, build your house. You will be laboring in vain who build it yeah, Except the Lord build the house. They that labor are laboring in vain who built it. They try to build it in the natural, it won't work it. Unless the Lord builds the house, they that labor, labor in vain. Verse 1, Psalm 20, 127. Yeah. Oh, so I say, let the Lord build your house, and you won't be laboring in vain. Let the Lord build your, okay, let's let the Lord build our house. I don't want to be laboring in vain. And then it says, unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. Woo! This is of a truth. This is the truth. Unless the Lord God guards the city, The watchmen stay awake in vain. Teach us your ways, Lord. Lead us in a level path. Teach us your ways, Lord. And lead us in a... Come on, sing it with me. Teach us your ways, Lord. And lead us in a level path. Teach us your ways. translation verse one unless the eternal builds the house those who labor to raise it will have worked for nothing I'm not doing that it's a choice you and I some of you have known this scripture for many years some of it is brand new to you the second two thirds of the book of Psalms there it is Unless the eternal builds the house, what, what, what? Those who labor to raise it will have worked for nothing. The Lord doesn't want us doing that. It's hard enough already. Walking out every day full of the joy of the Lord and the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's go. Unless the eternal stands watch over the city and your life, those who are trying to guard it will have wasted their time. That includes you and me who try to guard our own life. We're in the hands of a, we're in the hands of a mighty God who watches over us. We're in the hands of our mighty God who watches over us. I get it, Lord. I get it, Lord. I see your word for what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, unless the eternal builds the house, those who labor to raise it will have work for nothing. Lord, we say no to that. We're going to let you build our lives in our house. Well, unless the eternal stands watch over the city, those who guard it have wasted their time. Those who guard it without the Lord's help have wasted their time. I don't want to work for nothing, Lord, and I surely don't want to waste any time on this earthly plane. I want to do it for your glory. And your plan and purposes have changed my life. You touch my life and so we depend on you we 
take your word and depend on you. So hear these two versions, translations. New King James first, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, it's our prayer point. We ask the Lord to help us guard our home, our family, guard the city, Lord, guard the city, Lord, and big angels at your disposal, Lord. And the watchman stays awake <clears throat> in vain. I don't want to do anything in vain. That's over for me. <clears throat> Unless the eternal builds the house, those who labor to raise it will have worked for nothing. Unless the eternal stands watch over the city, those who guard it have wasted their time. And then the Knox translation. If Jehovah does not build up the house, the builders labor fruitlessly. Oh, I don't like that. I don't want to be laboring fruitlessly. So be led and be guided by the advocate, the Holy Spirit. No time for fruitlessly now. Vainly the guard keeps watch. If the city has not the Lord, get ready. If the city does not have the Lord for its guardian God. You're my guardian God. Guardian, isn't that awesome? Guardian God, you are my guardian God. are my guardian I receive and I walk in you as my guardian God yeah. no fear no fear because you no fear because you are my guardian God guardian and it's right there grab it put it in your spirit yeah, you're my guardian God rescue God as well, but you're my guardian God in you. Will you build my house as I worship you? Yes, you guard my house as I worship, as I worship you. The common English Bible says, without the help of the Lord, it is useless to build a home or to guard a city. Man, that's why I ask for four letter words, simple, H-E-L-P. I ask, Lord, help me. I'm not a proud man, I'm a small man. And I cry pretty much daily for the help. Lord, help me do this. Show me what to do, show me how to do this. Because with the help of the Lord, you can build a home and guard a city with the power of his strength and his might. And unless the Lord protects the city, guarding it with sentries will do no good. <laughs> New Living Translation, the Living Bible brought forward a ton of people. I think this, uh, the New Living Translation, NLT, uh, we're up to 40, 30, 40% of a lot of people because it's easy to understand and easier to read. One more time, unless the Lord protects the city, guarding it, even with sentries, will not do any good. If God's grace doesn't help the builders, <laughs> they will labor in vain to build that house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the sentries will circle it in vain. Passion translation. Take it up a whole stab. grace doesn't help the builders and it's a prayer point say we depend on your grace Lord if God's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build that house and if God's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will keep circling it but when the enemy comes 
that's a bad scene. Verse 2, verse 2. It is vain for you to rise up early and go to bed late, eating the bread of sorrow. Yeah. It is vain for you to rise up early and go to bed late and eat the bread of sorrows, the bread of your toiling. His beloved in their sleep. He gives to his beloved in their sleep. Yeah. Lord, who you give to us in our sleeping, Lord, in dreams and visions and words in the night. You give to your beloved sound perfect sleep. You give to your beloved sound, pure, perfect sleep. Yeah. You give to your beloved Lord sleep, deep, deep, rock solid sleep. You give to your be. Isn't it wonderful to know it, to to say it, and then to sing it? The Cambridge Bible for schools and colleges said this. To work so hard that you lose all enjoyment of it. Though constant, with constant anxiety. But all of this self-tormenting care is needless because our Lord is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. It's a footnote to this scripture, verse 2, Psalm 127. To work so hard that you lose all enjoyment of it through the constant anxiety. All this self-tormenting care is needless when you recognize, when you believe, my Lord is Jehovah Jireh, my provider. And here's the other translation. God provides for his own. God provides for his own. It is pointless to get up early, work hard, and go to bed late, anxiously laboring for food to eat, for God provides. For God provides to those he loves, even while they're sleeping. God provides for those he loves. Just rest in it for a minute. Take it at full face value. Oh my God. Even while we're sleeping, I say, we say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Two things. To your promise and your provision, Lord. To your promise and your provision, we say yes, Lord. Oh, we say yes, Lord. To your promises and your provision, Lord. And we say yes, Lord. Oh, we say yes, Lord. To two things, your promise first first in power, your provision for our life, your promise and your provision, we say yes, Lord, we say yes, Lord. Promises, your provisions, Lord, yeah, promises. Your provisions, Lord, for our life, your promises. Your provisions, Lord. And one last thing. Vain for you to be early in rising and to be late in lying down. 
to be eating the bread of worrisome toil. What a phrase. To be eating the bread <laughs> of worrisome toil. Gaining your bread with anxious toil. For God himself gives blessings, blessings to his beloved in their sleep. The passion, it is really senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, from morning, early morning till late at night, toiling for a living for fear of not having enough. Whoa, there it is. God provides for his loving believers even while they're sleeping. He provides for his loving believers even while they sleep. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you to your word. Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. Wow. We're going to follow hard after you, Lord. Study a word to show ourselves approved and walk in a great fruitfulness for your presence and your glory. In Yeshua's name. Whoosh. Hey, now, how about that? Woo, son of God. We love you guys. So good to be together. Remember, take the provision and promises to deepen your heart. Lay it all on the altar of prayer and worship. That's what I call it. Let him touch it. Run with the vision. Do your calling. Fulfill your destiny. In Yeshua's name, shalom, shalom.